Okay, so now we're begin we're ready to begin actually creating our block. So once again, we go over to this tile right here. We click on that tile. We go down to more. Under more, we go to blogger. And then it's going to ask us to re-enter the password that we associate with our new Google account. We log in. And now we have the ability to create a limited blogger profile or to create a Google uh, Plus profile. In a professional setting, if you were actually working uh, with a client and they were creating a blog, it might be a good time for them to create a Google Plus account. In this case, this would help create more of a web presence for them. They could then use their Google Plus account to post pictures um, of their product, of their business, of whatever their website happens to be marketing. So. Uh, it's really your choice today which one you choose. I'm going to go with a limited um, blogger profile for now, but uh, you may want to spend some time going through and playing with the Google Plus profile. Okay, so display name. Um, I'm going to put John for because I'm making this for John W. Doe. And then I can then continue to blogger. Okay, now we're in blogger. And this is pretty straightforward. So the first thing that we want to do right here is take a look. This is where you would create a new blog. And so we're going to click on create a new blog and we're going to make a title. And so for this class, we're going to want to make the title something having to do with writing for the web. Um, the address, we get to make up the address. You can see here that it is um, .blogspot.com. And so whatever we put in the front will create the URL address. So the address that I'm going to uh, Put for this is John's web writing. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't spell writing. And that blog is actually available. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to create the blog. And so I'm creating a public blog split space. And now we are ready to actually start blogging. It's literally that simple. Okay. And so now we go up here and we can we have a host of tools. View blog. We view blog, as you can see, it'll open up a new tab, and in this new tab, we can see that basically there is nothing on our blog. You can also see that back at that last setting, I didn't choose a template. Um, I wanted to not choose a template because I wanted to show you how you can go in here. And if you look at these settings, you have a whole bunch of different options which you can go through and explore. But right now, once you go down and choose a template, um, you may have chosen one before, but you may want to uh, change the template once again. Now, I would suggest at this point, um, these dark background templates end up using white text. Um, sometimes that's not a problem, but in some cases, there's an additional step that you have to take to ensure that your text actually shows up. If you, let's say, you're copy and pasting content from uh, a Word document and it's black text, and you migrate that into a dark colored blog, your text is virtually going to disappear. So think about text color at this phase of the game. And so I'm going to choose a simple text here. I like that one. I'm going to apply it to blog. Okay. Now I could go in and customize it, and I could edit the HTML for those of you who are familiar with uh, HTML coding. So I'm going to go back now to um, a new post, or let's just go to the overview, back to this window. This gives us a, f a little bit of information. Eventually, we'll have a whole bunch of posts here. You can track all of your blog posts. If you want to look at different pages, you can actually create um, many very simple web pages in here if you would like. Uh, you have a whole, a whole bunch of different options. But back to new post. So now, in the new post, this is going to give you a very simple text editor. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to put in a post title. And so for this one, I'm going to put um, writing history. This is going to be your first blog entry is to give me a little background about what am, what's been your past experience with writing. And you can look at the assignment sheet to get some more details on that. Okay, so then here, um, you will begin writing. Uh, you can add links, you can add pictures, you can add video content, you can embed videos, um, you can change the text size, you can go, for those of you who would like to see the HTML, it's a limited HTML editor, and if we were done, we would then hit publish, and this would be out for the entire world to see. So this is a pr pretty quick uh, look at how you would create a blog. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna save this, and it's gonna save this as a draft, and then I want to go back to my main blogger page. Now it's important that every time you have a new assignment to write for your blog in this class, you're not going to create a new blog. Once again, do not create a new blog. This is your blog here, writing for the web. And so in week two, when you have your second assignment, you're going to want to come back to this arrow. And this is, as you can see here, it pops up. It says create a new post. And you'll be creating new posts on this blog. But with this one, with John's account, his blogger account, he could make as many individual blogs as he wanted. Each of these would have a different URL, a different address, and they could be about entirely different topics. Uh, but in your case, today, and for this class, you're going to be using this feature right here, which is create a new post for each of your future assignments.